Hi everyone! Welcome! <laughs> Shadow, hello! Really? Okay, fine. Say hello! Say hello! Hello? You gonna talk? Hi. Hi. Really? <laughs> Say hi, Shadow! <laughs> oh, she's so cute today! Hi to you, Michelle. Welcome for being so early. Karen, Aspie, Pamela, Diane, Ev, Momo. Welcome, my friends. You've successfully unburied yourself. Well, I seem to have gained one. So, uh, yeah. And also, mowing started again right before the stream. I was talking to Ev and uh, all of a sudden I could hear it start. I was like, oh no. Right before stream again. Again. Hi, Megan. Welcome. <laughs> Craziness. Ah, Karen, okay. Well, uh, we had a bit of a chat about uh, using um, baby oil and Vaseline. And um, I wanted to show you how it works and that it doesn't make your picture oily. So um, I wanted to have a go at that today. So that should be interesting, do you think? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> All right, Shadow. You've had enough cuddles. She says, no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not, she says. Let's just uh, lift my camera up slightly there. I'm on a bit of an angle now, so it's sort of uh, trying to get the right angle so you guys don't get the glare off the lights is, is why we've, we're on an angle. <laughs> so if you're new here, welcome. My name's Belinda, and uh, we are on week five of a Prismacolor color along that we've been doing over the spooky month of October and today will be our last video on this one and next month we're working on an image by Monya Gates color my dreams you may know her has her as and uh, I don't know what we'll be using yet but I know what image we're coloring so I'm very excited we're gonna do some fairy wings in the in the next color along so that will be fun oh Pamela awesome I can't remember what you ordered, but awesome. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Oh, cute, Karen. Um, Shadow will go away and hide soon. She'll go to sleep. She always does. She's very sleepy. She sleeps a lot, don't you? Don't you? She is 11. For a Bengal, pure bro Bengal, that's pretty good. She's doing all right. <laughs> she is. Hi, Ali. Welcome. So, um, yes, we've got lots planned for next month. And in December, I don't usually do color alongs in December because it, it's usually the month that I have a little bit of a rest and, and we don't do a lot. But um, Ruth... Uh, is it Sutherland? Uh, I don't know how to say her last name. Hang on. Sanderson? Is that it? <laughs> Having one of those moments. Uh, she asked me to do a... Sanderson. Ruth Sanderson. She asked me to do something uh, for her book launch, but I was so booked up with Spooktober and everything else that was going on this month. Uh, we had a chat, and uh, she's decided that uh, we could do a colour along in December. And we're going to do one of her images from her Christmas book, so that will be nice. Very cool. Yes, Anderson. <laughs> so we're going to do that in December, so that will be fun too. Um, and it'll bring the Christmas cheer on, all that lovely Christmas stuff that will be starting to come out now too. Um, and she does that really nice dark grayscale stuff that's, uh, taken from her original work so it'll be fun to do something like that too uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy that too all right I think I'm ready to get started I was just gonna wait a couple of minutes I don't like to start straight away because we have people mosey on in 
There's another one now. <laughs> Hi, Roslyn. Welcome. Thank you. It's looking lovely. We don't have many in today. Usually we're all wearing to go and steaming ahead. We're all quiet. Oh, really quiet. Shh, don't talk. <laughs> So um, how cool is this? The background's going to take us a little bit of time. Uh, so I'm glad we left. I'm glad that I was able to do this extra one because we wouldn't have been able to get it all done in the four weeks. Um, and uh, we still have a couple of the, the horns and the bones here, of which I'm going to make all the same color. And also the chains. I need to add some color into those. And I wasn't sure what to do with those. Hi, Helen. Welcome moseyed in you did <laughs> um a couple i i thought maybe we'd make them quite simple though i don't want to put too much detail into that because it's not going to stand out uh, i want him to stand out the most uh, and of course we're going to have this lovely we're going to do like a red yellow moon i know kind of weird but i'm sure it'll work you're kind of brain dead but you're here oh <laughs> We'll have to uh, revitalize the brain. So, Ev, um, it's uh, your birthday tomorrow. Is that correct for you? It's today for us, but tomorrow for you? <laughs> we'll have to sing happy birthday. So, I'll, I'll have to sing it. You ready? Happy birthday! I sung it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome yeah it's already the 30th here so technically it's your birthday two days all over the world you get two days <laughs> happy birthday to you happy birthday <laughs> Ah, uh, good job. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, let's do some hearts. Birthday hugs. Love you. Yay! Ah. <laughs> uh, very cute. Hi, True. Welcome. Hi, Ellie. Welcome. Hi, anyone else that popped in there? Sherry, welcome. Uh, anyone else sneak in there? Ah, perfect. Yes, I um, I consolidated all the weeks into one post there too. Uh, I'm going to start to do that so that uh, there's not so many posts there and things are a little bit easier to find. So things are in progress on the Patreon website. <laughs> in progress because it takes so much time um playing around with things anyway <laughs> it's in progress hi abby welcome our oh, hugs for ev awesome oh we've got 686 hugs so far have been given that's cool since we started hugging <laughs> hugs are good virtual hugs are even better Especially when uh, we can't do virtual hugs because we're all so far away. Um, good thing is uh, here in Melbourne, we are, our restrictions are easing up. I did hear that we might be able to travel more than 25 k's uh, from home. There's still a few things that are happening, but um, most of the retail shops are now open. I know some you still have to go and make appointments to go in. Uh, but they opened. They opened some beauty things, cafes and restaurants. Um, pretty much everything's now opening up, which is really good because we've been so locked in. <laughs> it's not funny. So it's fantastic to be able to actually go outside uh, without uh, stressing too much. We still have to wear masks and things like that, of course. But um, oh, it's so much just so much more of a relief like we've still got restrictions on but um i feel like we're not quite so uh isolated <laughs> i guess <laughs> i know i can go buy an oven i know i'm so excited um 
Uh, we're still yet to do that, of course. We didn't want to go and rush out uh, in the first week that everything opened because apparently uh, it's like Christmas out there. <laughs> Everybody's everywhere, which I kind of thought might happen. Um, and it, it's not very sensible, I don't think, for people to have just rushed off and... It's Christmas, it's Christmas, let's get everything now. You know, like... <laughs> Take your time, you know. <laughs> Normal stuff is good. Uh, uh, hi, Janine. So, yeah, fun. Lots of fun. Hopefully, we can get our oven soon. They're quite expensive. We've already been doing research, so, yeah, it's fun. Just fun. We're doing it though. We are doing it. All right. Let's do uh, some coloring. Now, <laughs> I'm going to do the chains with this sand color. Um, it's kind of dull, but I don't mind. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Rosalind. You just take your time. Um, so I've got sand. Uh, we're going to be using this in the moon. Uh, so I wanted to add uh, some of this in to here as well. I'm not sure. Did I leave? You know, I did this color list on Tuesday. <laughs> I can't remember for the life of me if I added jasmine on that list or not. Yes. Let me have a quick peek at the color list, shall I? We did. All right, cool. So I'm going to use some jasmine too, <laughs> uh, which we also are going to do in the horn and a couple of other spots too, just to add a little bit of a yellow kind of tinge to some of him. Because we're going to put in, be putting some yellow into the moon as well, uh, I wanted to have that. Have you never seen it, Ev? Oh, thanks, True. Okay, so <laughs> thanks, Rosalind. Uh, I'll start. I'll, I'll, I've got jasmine and sand, but I think I might do jasmine. It's a little bit, yeah, more yellow. Um, and I'm just going to come in over these chains and just color them in. And uh, what we might do is with a gel pen, uh, we might add a couple of little sparkly spots. So light areas uh, where we might have a bit of a light reflection or make it look kind of shiny. So, But for now, let's just color them in completely. I'm not using too much pressure. Because I'm going to add some uh, white in here as well. But coming over everything. We've been having fun. Yesterday in Patreon, uh, we had a live and we colored, we're using Ink Tents. We're doing an Ink Tent series. And we colored this little guy. We're still coloring him. How cute is he looking? A little bit of birthday cake for Ev. Uh, so <laughs> he's starting to come along. We finished off the blueberries and the cherries and we're still working on the icing. But how cute is this little dude? I have seen Christine Karen's new image. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, so this is a Tanya Bogman. Is that how you say? Bogma? I should say. Bog Bogma? Bogma? I don't know how to say it. From her Nice Little Dragons 2... Uh, coloring book. So we're using ink tents on that one. Uh, we're going to finish it off, well some of it off next week. We won't be able to finish it all I don't think. Ink tents can take time because you've got to wait for things to dry and yeah. Things like that. And I got some little happy mail presents in the mail this week. I will show you. I got um, a couple of miniatures. Nice, nice, nice. I'll show you those as well. Let me just finish these chains. 
I'm being rough too. Like you can see I'm not being gentle about this. I'm not fussed. It's not something I want to fuss on, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. I just want colour in them so they don't look black and white. Just gently coming over those light areas. And uh, let's just add a little bit into this one here. Hope you guys can see that there. And uh, there's a couple here too, so I'm just going to I think I've got them all. It looks good so far. <laughs> I think I've got them all. Maybe. I'm going to add a tiny little bit of... Um, let's go with the purple dio dioxazine... Uh, in no English today. Uh, dioxazine purple hue. <laughs> it does look yummy. Yummy cake. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Helen they have this is uh, one of the little things I got look at this Emily's flower shop Emily where are you <laughs> this shop's for you <laughs> how cute is that and Dora's loft I don't know anyone called Dora, but it's not Dora the Explorer. <laughs> That's very cute. I think this is kitten food here. I just can see kitten written on there. I can't see a kitten. Can you see a kitten in there? Oh, there he is. Look, there's a kitty. All right, let's use a little bit of the dioxazine purple hue. And I'm just going to put a couple of little dark patches in this yellow. Just to add a little bit of depth to some of these areas. So in the darkest spots here. A little bit of this purple. Just kind of lining it in and we're going to smudge it out with white. So... It'll be all blended in a little bit there. But just giving our dark areas a little bit of contrast. So you've never seen Vaseline or baby oil being used on a background or on an image. That's so weird that you haven't seen that. I've done one already in a colour along actually. Um, I think it might have been a Lena Lazareva's one, possibly. I want to say that's what's coming to my mind here. <laughs> really? Which one? Um, true. They, <laughs> Helen. It's it's money spending month this month, is it? <laughs> Oh, mermaid, you still haven't done. I've already seen some Christmas images. Oh, actually, I have two. Um, I have two seen Christmas images. I just want to make sure that uh, I cover over a lot of the grey with some sort of colour. Kelly oh no problems oh no I hope everything's okay yeah 
yes yeah, so I've used um I've used a pencil blender before I actually use a pencil blender a lot this is zest it which is like gamsol the same kind of thing um, but we, I was saying that you can use like you don't have to have something special like this you can just use like plain this one happens to have a smell but uh, plain baby oil you can achieve similar results with it as well so no worries Marilyn thanks <laughs> thanks for joining um, so that's just the brand that I had <laughs> but you can also use Vaseline as well and I couldn't find my Vaseline so um, but it's the same kind of concept and uh, I just wanted to show you you just need to be really you need to use it very sparingly um, and you need to use it with a blending stub so these are just rolled up paper stubs I got different sizes for more detailed areas and uh, they can be sharpened with just normal uh, sandpaper you like zested it smells good it smells like orange doesn't it <laughs> citrus um, so we're going to do that today in a minute I'm going to grab my jasmine again and just blend those purple areas off a bit smudging them out a little bit but hopefully they've made those darker areas more prominent I ordered something to be delivered today. I ordered myself a couple of bra crop tops. I'm so sick of <laughs> bras. I hate them. Those big uh, busted women out there, I'm sure they're feeling me right now. <laughs> so I needed new stuff to try. <laughs> I'm sick of the saw backs. That's for sure. All right, looking good. Let's add a little bit of white, which I really need to get a knife on because there's. I feel you, says Abby. <laughs> I have zest it. Don't use it much. Well, if you have anything like that, the trick is to use a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Ah. Oh. Hi Christy. Yes, I need that too. Oh, true. Me too. That's what I'm looking at. It's like a crop top bra thing. Um, I'm just so over it. <laughs> and I'm just going to use a little, oh, a little bit of white just to blend off some of these light areas. You won't be able to see it like terribly light in, in this. But I'm just making sure the tooth is flat. You know, just pushing all those edges down. Adding some highlights. And what we'll do is we'll just grab the gel pen and uh, we'll just add a few little spots of, of a white gel pen. Just creating a little bit of a sparkle on a couple of areas. Not everything, but... So he's got a bit of sparkle on his body. We're going to sort of extend that into some of these little areas as well. I'll do that black later. All right white gel pen. I'm going to use my jelly roll number five. I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see it. If I can find my zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Here we go. Yeah, I used to only ever wear an underwire, but now, ugh, no. No. Just some little sparkles on there. You can add a little bit of a cross 
making a little shimmer off there. But I'm just going to do a few little spots over a couple of the light areas. Just dotting it in there. I mean, it doesn't look like much here, but it will just add to the effects of, you know, shiny. Shiny, especially down here, there's a few larger areas that are quite light, so I'm just going to make sure I add some in there. Hi, Linda, welcome. What is mobile? It's a phone. <laughs> Our mobile home. Gotcha. Yes, we were just talking about bras because I'm getting some. That's why. <laughs> I was, I've ordered them specially to come today so that I can. They had this thing. You could pay a little bit extra to get them same day. I desperately need them. My upper back is just crazy. Trying to make sheets and stuff yesterday, I was like in agony. Alright, I'm happy with that. A little sparkle. And I'm going to grab my bigger jelly roll, which is a number 8. And I'm just going to pop a couple of larger spots just randomly don't do it like in a uniform sort of way just the quicker you do it I guess the the better because then you're not thinking about where you're putting things and I'm just going to add some little sparkles on the hair Just like that. Okay. Let's do these horns. And I don't know what this is. It's like a vertebrae on the outside. It we'll call it um, sparkly armor. Hi Dorothy, welcome. Anyone else that's popped in, hello. Welcome. Still quiet today. Usually we'll have quite a few more. We've, we're quiet today. Just a quiet, small little group. Um, I just missed a couple of, uh, of the, look, down here. Because I'm just crazy. Nobody said anything. Come on. <laughs> A little bit of the purple. Just blend that purple out. The jasmine. And a little bit of white. At least the mowing has stopped now. Hey, let's add a couple of spots of gel pan on there. There we go. All right, let's do this. Got dioxazine purple hue. I said it right. Bone saddle. Very nice, Abby. Very nice. Now, the um, I just want to mention that Abby just posted up the event and the link to this image. 
there's a discount there. That discount will only last until like the end of of this month. So the end of October. So it's going to finish like today or tomorrow. So please make sure you go get it. Okay. If you want the discount, you got to get it now. It is 50% off. So why not? <laughs> Watching Ghost Wars, a weird series. Okay. I, it's, I found out that it was all a hoax and it's not real. So I haven't watched it since then. <laughs> it's all set up. But Abby, I did watch, uh, well, I've started to watch, I've nearly finished the first season of Evil. Is there only one season? I hate series that do that. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Okay, so I've got Doc Dioxys Eye in Purple Hue. And uh, I'm just coming in very lightly over those dark areas. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to come up just very lightly the middle there. So lightly gone over those really dark areas and then just come up into the middle a bit. Only one. Hi Kenny, welcome. Only one. I've got pomegranate somewhere here. And I'm going to come over that as well with a little bit of this. Rain on Netflix. What's that about? Sounds like something to do with kings and queens or monarchs of some sort <laughs> adding a little bit of the pomegranate over the top of the purple just a light layer like it's extremely light you can barely see what I've done there but enough to be able to smudge out with our lighter colors A little bit of lilac. Just coming over those dark sections. And I'm just going to bring it out a little bit further. So it's starting to build up on the colour in the horn. But I want to leave those edge pieces nice and white. So. Leaving some white highlights in here is a good idea. Okay. We're going to use white. Oh, cool, Mona. It's okay, Ev. Just going to cover over everything with white. So I'm going to smudge with... Uh, small circular motions, the darker areas, and just extend them out into these lighter areas on the edges. Just pushing it around, smudging it around. flattened off most of the tooth now if not all I'm gonna use my brush and just brush that off wherever it went okay it disappeared it's hardened all right now I'm gonna add some jasmine in there just a couple of spots so just on the edges here just coming in and adding a little bit of that jasmine. Yeah, it might be really hard to see here, but you can see just slightly. And uh, then we need to add sparkles. Gotta add sparkles! Alright, so let's use the little one. Forget if I coloured while you stream, I can channel some of your magic. And Aspie says, I've tried, it doesn't work. 
<laughs> ah, funny. Let's add in some sparkle sparkles. Oh, I might need to do my little pen trick. I might need a bigger pen, actually. They're too little. Just using my number eight. I really love the uni ball pen, but it's really thick and it makes those spots quite large. And I just want a couple in there just for a bit of sparkle. I don't want to overwhelm it with white. So just coming in. And adding a little bit of sparkle. Alright, let's do the same down here on these ones. Hi Boots, welcome. <laughs> hey, we're going to do a giveaway today. Last one. Yep, yep. But something exciting is happening this weekend. Did you know that? Well, I haven't actually set up the video yet. However, keep your eyes out um, on the Epic Events uh, Facebook page. And here, I'll post it up once I've set it all up. We're going to have a Halloween party. We're just going to consolidate all of the stuff that we've done for Spooktober this month. And have a couple of guests. We're going to do a Zoom meeting so uh, I know I've definitely got Heather from CBC and Emily, Emily Illustrator will be joining. I've got Shelly, me, oh, Michelle Cola is going to join the party and we've got lots of prizes. Jennifer Zimmerman is going to join, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so very cool, lots of fun. We're going to do a challenge. I said to them all, I think we should use some uh, children's crayons. <laughs> and uh, colour one of the images from the Spooktober event. <laughs> well, that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. I am. <laughs> uh, Boots, it'll be advertised on my um, community page and the Epic Events Facebook page as well. Uh, it'll be 12 o'clock on Sunday my time, which for most of you is like the evening on Halloween. So, Halloween, Halloween, this is Halloween. <laughs> Spooky, scary skeleton. So many different songs for Halloween, huh? I'm coming over with pomegranate. Just over the dioxazine. Whatever. Purple hue. <laughs> Whatever. good it's quite dark this one it's not as light as the top section because this section's in this light so this will be quite dark compared to that uh, using lilac everybody everybody's invited it's for everyone it'll be a live stream the zoom part will be for the streamers that are all the people that were streaming or artists that were included in the event and you guys will be able to watch it live here because I'm going to stream it. I'm going to stream the party. 
and I should have organized the link earlier. It's been kind of busy though. Everybody's been busy. It's hard. Life can be hard. There's not enough time in the day, that's for sure. Even with daylight savings. <laughs> Coming over with lilac and I'm starting to fill some of these areas in now. Keeping some nice white highlights just here on this side and just down these sections of... I'll, I promise I'll put the video link up after the stream. I have to go and, and make it, of course, so it might take me a little bit, but I will go put it up. And I'll also paste, post it on my um, Facebook uh, page, and I'll give it... I mean, I'll, all of the streamers will have to post it too, so in their groups and other things that they've got as well. Hi, Raya, welcome. I remember with crayons using bright colors, color in black and draw over it. Oh, yeah, okay. I think I, like the scratch board type thing, is that what you're meaning? Using white now to blend and smudge everything. So we lose that graininess. We flatten that tooth out. I quite often will use white as a blender. I keep those light edges if I can. So to do that I'm just covering over those light areas first so that I don't smudge that darker colour into it too much. Looks cool. Looks cool. Oh, I can hear Cam home. Nice. One of his jobs got cancelled today because uh, concreters didn't come and do their jobs. to worry. Our carriage door is so noisy. Did you guys hear that opening there? <laughs> Squeak! <laughs> hey Linda, I was showing off my new miniatures did you want to see that I got very cute so uh, yeah I didn't get a cricket <laughs> I didn't get a cricket I'd really like to though <laughs> Miss Linda uh, brought a cricket and I'd really like to but I didn't get one of those but I did get a new sewing machine um, you guys are probably going, hang on, didn't you get a new sewing machine a few weeks ago? Yeah, I did, but I hate it. <laughs> but look, hi Vicky, this is Dora's Loft. And look, there's little kitty food and a kitty in here. How cute is that? <laughs> Hello Vicky, welcome. And I got Emily's flower shop. But Emily's not here. <laughs> it's 
So I can't show her. I'm going to show her when she comes in. So when she comes in, remind me to show her my little miniature. <laughs> Emily's flower shop. It's very cute. Anyhow, um, yes, yeah, so I got a new sewing machine as well. Um, they were 40% off in Spotlight. I got a singer and I <laughs> yesterday um, I was making I've been making sheets for our bed because we don't have a normal sized bed we've got two king single beds together and um, I like to be able to have the same over blanket like it's a pain having separate blankets when we're close together and the dogs there as well so I made my own uh, quilt covers by adding so I brought two king single quilts and uh, I just added the quilt covers together so just sewed them down the middle so they've actually got their separate compartments still uh, but they're joined in the middle yeah we've got a line down the middle but I'm not fast it's comfortable <laughs> I brought a over the bed quilt sort of bed thing for covering over that anyway but um so yeah, I've been sewing them together, but the dunas, because they're separate, they keep falling out. One will fall out and one won't. So I'm constantly trying to fix them up again, straighten them. So we we uh, sewed little tabs with uh, buttonholes on the duna cover. And uh, we sold tabs with buttons on the dunas. So uh, every time we change them, we just can button them to the duna cover. <laughs> Hi, Nana. Uh, so yeah, that was fun, but I uh, already stuffed up my thing. Somehow, uh, the top thread popped off. There's like a little, if you sew, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's like a little lever that you can see move up and down on the front of it, and the, the actual thread usually threads through that. Well, somehow, I'm going back to Jasmine now, somehow <laughs> the thread popped out of that, and you can't see it. It's kind of enclosed in this one a little bit, so it doesn't sort of come right out of the machine you can't see it that well so we had no idea we're trying to figure out why we thought it was the bobbin we thought the bobbin wasn't threaded right we took it out so many times Cameron even was looking at it's going I don't know and Alyssa's going maybe we should just re-thread all of it you know like this I'm like yeah but you know this should happen and we've done this and we've done that but we're only re-threading the bobbin section anyway I started to pull on the top thread and Alyssa's like is it threaded properly uh, lo and behold, it wasn't. <laughs> Two hours later, uh, we figured it out. Oh gosh, new things, hey? Anyway, the second time it did it, uh, we knew that it did it. So, all fixed. Now, I just added some jasmine around the edging so you can see. You can actually see that a little bit more on there. And uh, we're going to add in, I think we need a little bit more depth. So I'm going to use that purple again and just add a little bit more underneath those overlapping vertebrae kind of pieces like that. But we finally got it to work and I made three flat sheets and I did lots of tabs. <laughs> and now I've done the tabs, Alyssa's like, now you can make me some for my Duna cover. So it looks like I'm making more. <laughs> <laughs> button tabs yeah loads of fun <laughs> and I'm just going to blend that a little bit uh, with the uh, lilac just so it doesn't stand out as a line that just blends off a little bit like that Anyhow, it was so much fun. Not. <laughs> Hi, Shara. Welcome. Was not fun. <laughs> My birthday? No. It's Ev's birthday. She said happy Thursday. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I did t have tie loop ones, but, um, uh, oh, well, if the top thread's not, not threaded right, it makes a mess too. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks guys. Let's add some sparkles on here.
randomly. <laughs> sparkle sparkles. I mean, you could add real sparkles if you want, but for me, uh, for the purposes of scanning it in, I can't, the real sparkles don't really show up. So the white looks just enough like a sparkle. It doesn't need it. <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> you couldn't? Oh, no. <laughs> Sewing machines are very clever. <laughs> Karen just said, look up the making of a sewing machine. They are very clever. Like, the buttonholes was so cool. You just put this little thing on and you put your foot on it and off it goes. You don't have to do anything. It's so cool. Um, even putting on buttons is so easy. All right. Uh, I think we're done. I think he's done. What do you guys think? Done everything. I think he's cool. All right, let's get these this bit done. Uh, first of all, I'm going to use sand, and uh, I'm actually going to use sand all over the moon. Now, when it comes to using Vaseline and uh, baby oil and things like that, you need to make sure you have plenty of pigment on the paper for it to blend and smudge so if you don't have enough of the pencil actually laid down you'll get like bits and pieces of of uh, white paper coming through and uh, you won't get a nice rich color when you blend it off it'll look kind of washed out and and not right so we want to make sure we add plenty of color uh, in here so just coming over I'm using my pencil like almost horizontally and I'm holding it kind of strangely it looks strange but like that and I'm just sort of covering the paper and where I want it to be thicker I'll just come over that section again so we've got lots of uh, pencil on there I'm just leaving the really dark areas because we're going to add some pink and purples in there so we don't need to cover that over and these um bats and there's a bat down here a couple of bats down here as well we're going to fix them up when we're finished uh, with a, a probably a, a fine liner of some sort i was talking about the baby dolls i'm getting and that peeps may think i'm nuts but then someone said well all these peeps are playing with miniature houses so there's no difference it made me laugh and feel better yes Yes! Miniature houses. Of course. I always wanted one of those newborn babies when I was a kid. And I, you know what? I never actually got one. But now they've got those ones that look so realistic. Um, I wouldn't want one with its eyes open though. That kind of freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> they're just beautiful dolls they're made of like some sort of silicon aren't they lovely Well, I have a sewing machine now. I can sew those cl dolls' clothes. Um, and I can make, like, furniture and things, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> Miniature stuff, I'm talking here. So you can see there's a fair bit of colour. If there wasn't, you wouldn't be able to see it in the camera. I'm going to do the same thing over these cloudy bits here. So let's just come in here and add this into these areas as well. The 
is coming in over that. As I said, this is going to take us a bit of time, so just take your time and just make sure you layer enough pencil on. There's a little bit, just down here, there's a little bit of that yellow. It just kind of tapers off, I guess, down into the bottom. Baby dolls look cool. Oh, you can see, Kenny. Ah, <laughs> uh, I need to get mine checked again. I was wearing my sunglasses out. I had to go get some stuff the other day and. I noticed that I put my sunglasses on and my head was killing me in their prescription, so I think they're not quite right. I started off long sighted and now I'm short sighted. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, how things work? But uh, my middle one. She's really short-sighted and she has been since she was younger so it's funny how different we all are. And there's Cam now with his 2020 vision still. <laughs> are you picking on my vision? <laughs> Hello all. <laughs> okay, there's your cover. Thank you. Now we're talking about glasses. I couldn't read the te the chat properly. Oh, Kenny couldn't. <laughs> Hi, Cam. Mm -hmm. Big magnifying uh, screen over the over the whole screen. Yeah, what are they? Just just pull one of these over the screen and look through this. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, you can get the oh wait, this has got a light too, so you know just to <laughs> make sure. <laughs> You can actually get the uh, the big overlays for monitors. Oh, you can too. The the ones that just magnify the screen. They're yeah, very cool. <laughs> uh, I was just showing them my little miniatures that I got the other mm. day. That's coming up awesome. Hope so. <laughs> it's taken us enough time. We're on week five now. Oh, good. Oh, look at all the emojis. <laughs> Halloween ones, monkeys. I love it. <laughs> hi, Cam. Hi, Cam. Hi, Cam. Hi there, Cam. Hi, Cam. <laughs> Where's Ev? She disappeared. She went off. <laughs> hi, Loretta. <laughs> Ev disappeared. She's missed you. Oh, oh no. no. She'll be so sad. It's her birthday too tomorrow. Aww. Well, actually, it's today here, but technically tomorrow for them. Well, happy birthday. Oh, no. She's on the phone. <laughs> 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 She'll have to watch it back. Uh, hi, Angie. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Nice and hot. Yep. My daughter had an animated one. Oh, a doll, an animated doll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Freaky. <laughs> there she is. You missed it. Cam said happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Whether it's today, tomorrow. Whenever. Whatever part it is, yes. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> G'day, g'day. 
No, he's here. No, I'm here. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's about 10 seconds behind, so she'll catch it in a sec. Okay. All right. Have you got more work or are you hanging now? Uh, no, I have to go to uh, Bingo Centre and fix a couple of uh, swampies cool. up on the double story roof. Oh, that sounds like fun. Be careful, please. <laughs> That's birthday <laughs> present enough. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, uh, you're funny. <laughs> hey, we missed some. Oh no, we missed some horns. What did you forget to do them? Yeah, we'll have to come back and do them. Okay. Bummer. At least I've seen them. I'll do them now. Before we move on to the background. <laughs> <laughs> Nana's creeped out by dolls. <laughs> Realistic ones. Ouch. Cam, I have my Siri set to a male Aussie voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta love it. I, I think I have mine to a male too. The girl drives me crazy. It's quite funny because I don't think I have an accent or uh, sound any anything different to normal, so... <laughs> me either. <laughs> no. No, definitely not. I don't know. But it's funny because every time I listen to an Australian streamer, I can tell they're Australian. But when you listen to yourself, it's completely different. <laughs> I need to uh, get to Belinda to actually change my voicemail. She needs to be on my voicemail. <laughs> For my business. Why? Because most of, your, most, most of your customers are male, so they like the female voice. <laughs> yeah, it also sound, makes it sound a lot more professional than just me. You sound normal, Cam. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ev. That's not that deep. <laughs> not not sometimes. No. <laughs> you should get Ethan talking on here. Yeah, he's got a hey, pretty deep Jamie. voice. Hey, Jamie. Jamie's got a deep voice Jamie's too, Jamie's yeah. got a very deep voice. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, I have to run. I'll unload the van and get moving to the next job. All right. Okay. See Enjoy you. all and happy birthday again. <laughs> oh, that was nice. All right, let's just finish these little um, horns here. These will be light too, like the like the actual. Oh, these aren't horns; they're like bones. I don't know, but we're making them the same color. <laughs> Dioxazine purple hue. <laughs> It's only a little bit on this dark side here. I think this might be one here too, so let's just add that. <laughs> I'm glad you all enjoyed that. Do you have an accent? Oh, that's weird. We don't sound Australian. <laughs> I'm sure I've got pencil in my nail. How did that happen? No, who knows? Alright, and then we've got our lilac. That was pomegranate. And then we've got lilac. Just doing, repeating the same steps as before. And then blending it out with white. Uh, and mid American ears, the voice and the accent is wonderful, yes. You both sound Australian, I think, says Mona. No, B, you don't all don't think my son sounds Aussie, but we hear it. Oh, okay, I get you. Australian? <laughs> Angie. <laughs> yes, you do have accents, I can tell. <laughs> I don't know what it is about an Australian accent that makes us different to the UK. So 
sometimes I'm not sure whether someone's from the UK or Australia or sometimes New Zealand too can be a little bit <laughs> my son uh, talks he's got a, he, I think it's just a habit they did uh, the movie and book boy um, at school they studied it and he just seemed to have picked up some of the words and I'm like are you Australian or New Zealand come on here we go <laughs> <laughs> he just has picked up some of uh, the New Zealand slang and the way that they talk. A couple of his friends are from uh, New Zealand as well, so a little bit of jasmine just on that light area there. I mean, I guess we used to do stuff like that. You know my kids when they were little, they used to, you know how they pretend play? Well, they watched so much TV or American TV, they they would talk American when they were toy playing. It was so funny. <laughs> I would hear them and I'd be like, are they, do they have accents in there? Like, they seriously, I don't know how, watching little kids American TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> Aspy. <laughs> ah, Emily, you're here. Aussie and Kiwi Nana. Ah, oh, there you go. I um I worked for an insurance company doing phone like as a you know, person who fixed policies and did new policies and things like that. And uh, <laughs> I had one guy who, who seriously knew where what part of Australia I lived in because of my accent. And I thought that was strange. <laughs> so yeah, very strange. Oh, Emily, it's her birthday here. It's the 30th here already. <laughs> Emily, look what I got. Emily's flower... Uh, bleh. Okay, words are hard. Emily's flower shop. I saw Emily and went, oh, I have to have that one. Yeah. <laughs> Sherry, make sure you're on live chat. <laughs> How cute is that? I love this. There's like, I know it's kind of blurry on the camera, but because it's not auto-focusing, but there's these, like, little rolls of paper to wrap the flowers up in, and I'm like, why do I find that really cute? <laughs> I can't help it. It looks really cute to me. I'm very excited about making this one. It looks very detailed, though, doesn't it? Very detailed. But, yes, Emily's Flower Shop. Yay! <laughs> Uh, what's your favourite colour? Was that purple? Uh, what else? What other colours do you like? Maybe I'll, I'll change the colours and make it for you. <laughs> Very cute. Alright, let's get back to our, our uh, moon. I've got white and I'm going to add white over the sand. Just coming in over the top of it, adding a little bit more pigment to move around when we when we put the baby oil on. Remember what I said, you've got to have plenty of colour on there or it won't work properly. It'll look strange and out of place. You'll get lots of bits and white showing through. So we're just adding some more pigment. It does look detailed, doesn't it? You did. That's right, Ev. You get to celebrate in Australia first. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, they fashioned it after your flower shop that you have in your backyard. They came to see you and said, hey, you can make your flower shop miniature. I said, sure, why not? <laughs> Kenny's like, baby oil? That's what we're going to use today. Some baby oil.
Yep, yep, we are. Alright, just coming over these light sections. don't need to be too neat because we're going to be blending it with a blending stub anyway so it will get nice and smooth and flat just making sure we have enough pigment there to do that though oh there he goes again I can hear him getting ready to leave Nanny wasn't impressed this morning. They all went out and left me with her. And she was like, where did everyone go? <laughs> all right. Now, we want to add some... I have no idea because I didn't write it down. <laughs> I just did it. All right. I've got two colors... That we're going to three colors that we're going to use in the sky so so i already used sand and white i'm going to use some pomegranate some ultramarine and some blue violet blue so the violet blue is quite dark um, but i want to add that sort of from the bottom and move up this is quite a large area so this is going to take me forever the ultramarine is actually a really pretty color and it's got a bit of a purple sort of color to it. It's like kind of purpley, but it's pretty. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So. <laughs> Last time I used baby oil, I thought I was using very little. It was a mess. Yeah, it's tiny, tiny amount. Emily, you missed probably the best birthday present I will get. Cam said, happy birthday to me. Emily says, oh man, I'm going to watch it back and then record it as my ringtone. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> my true calling comedian. <laughs> Let's add some pomegranate into the moon. Into the dark areas. Oh, you guys are funny. Just using circular motions and uh, coming in and doing that. You know, he says to me, what do you want for your birthday or Christmas? I say, I don't need anything. You're enough. He doesn't believe me. See, I should try him this. He might believe me. <laughs> it's like, no, seriously, what do you want? <laughs> You're enough. You'll do. He did, he stayed and chatted for a minute, didn't he? Privileged. Kind of bends off into the thing there and coming on this side I'm just going to turn my pages just a little bit easier to get a nice layer on you're enough but I'll take more art supplies <laughs> <coughs> more tea got a bit of hay fever today it's 
It's making my uh, eyes watery, my throat itchy. Mm. It's probably from uh, playing around with all the sheets and things yesterday, moving up some dust and, you know, <laughs> stuff. So uh, I saw a, a, a tutorial on how to uh, print on your own materials. So that's my next next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to print on some material and then use my new sewing machine to uh, sew up some furniture and cushions and things with it. Should be a bit of fun. Print your own patterns on material. That is cool. I had to wait for all of my supplies to get here though to do it. <laughs> There's some sort of special paper and some fabric, fabric paint thing that you need. Alright, now I want to use this also out into some of these areas around the outside here, just giving it that little bit of a spooky kind of look. So I'm just going to add in some of this on these dark areas on the outside. Oh, you do, Mona? I'm not that great at it, but I'll do it. <laughs> I made Cam this jacket uh, for a, a uh, party uh, we had for my for Alicia actually. She had a medieval party. I made him this jacket and uh, it was so funny. He's running around the house saying, I feel like Doctor Who with the tail sort of running out the back of him. <laughs> it was very cool. I had photos of it. I don't know if I've still got them on my phone now. Yeah. Just coming down. I think about there should do it. I'm not going to go all the way down, but... Oh, you did, Angie? Cool. I wish. <laughs> oh, wedding dresses. Lovely. I have a friend whose sister used to, she did a course in making formal gowns and wedding dresses. Just some beautiful stuff. Yeah, I'm not that, uh, put it this way, I, I sent uh, my daughter's Deb dress off to actually be altered. I didn't want to do it. I'm too scared of it. <laughs> Too scared of it. <laughs> Am I okay with basic stuff? Like sewing on a button, taking up hems. <laughs> That's about it. That's about it. All right. <laughs> um, and then <laughs> uh, we want to add a little bit of... Let's go with the blue, violet blue, it's called violet blue. Don't want to get it around the wrong way. Just adding a couple of spots of that through here. I'm not too much. Mm. 
And I've got ultramarine, and I'm going to fill out over the top of all of that dark, you know, area. So we've got the red coming through. It'll look kind of purple once we're done. A couple of spots I'm going to leave just red, but I'm going to come over a lot of that. Adding in this nice ultramarine blue. Be really light handed but do a couple of layers so you get some nice uh, pencil pigment on the page. You've got to have enough to move around. Just going to be a bit more careful around the hair here. Now we're actually going to cover all down there with it as well, but I just do this top section first, I think. Practice and you'll get better, says Angie. Oh, yeah. Well, you sewed a mask. That's pretty good, Raya. I haven't even done that. I brought them. <laughs> Mind you, I didn't have this really nice sewing machine that I have now. I had this, this horrible one that I hate. <laughs> that I thought I would really like, but when I got it, I didn't like it. I never thought I'd say that about a sewing machine. I mean, I had this other cheap, cheap one for years. Um, but it just kept getting caught up. It wouldn't, it wasn't, it's just old. And not designed to be kept for such a long time. <laughs> a cheap throwaway. Um, so yeah, it was weird going to this, I think, oh yeah, I'll go buy a Janome, you know, it's all good, it's got a good brand, it's good priced, it's more expensive, but you know, it's got, it will have everything I need. Well, it didn't have everything I need. <laughs> I just thought, I think because my cheap one had it, I just thought that a thread cutter and a needle threader were just things that came with sewing machines these days like that you didn't have to check if it had them because it just would have it but no i was wrong <laughs> i was so wrong Okay, so this is going to take me a little while, but I'm just going to keep doing that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a layer with the baby oil, see how it looks, and then if I need to add more colour on top, I can. Just adding a little bit more pomegranate down here. Um, so when I say if it needs, looks like it needs more, it might need more pencil to build up and cover over the, the tooth of the paper. It might need more depth in some areas. So those kinds of things we can just work on after. Are you done? You're back, Marilyn. Welcome back. Rephrase that. The only thing that... I saw that I am proud of is the mask I've made. Oh, Raya. 
At least you made one, as I said. <laughs> uh, you can. Nope. Nope. It might if you're using a laser. Um, but I tend not to use a laser because it peels up even with pencils. So, Alright, so we've got a couple of different size... I've got a couple of different sized blending stubs. You can try this with a brush, but I find that you use too much baby oil that way. Uh, this you use way less and it does the same thing. So what you're doing is you're utilizing the blending stub to blend as well as the baby oil to help smooth it out. Does that make sense? So essentially the blending stub is doing a lot of the work. Hi, Tammy. Now Tammy sounds Australian. I went and watched her stream her video this morning and she sounds Australian. <laughs> All right, so I have a little tub here and you can probably see maybe there's actually a little bit of baby oil already on it. So I just dripped a couple of drops of baby oil onto this. I'm just going to move this and just put one on there. Just so you can see, it's definitely baby oil. I think that may be my postie. I might have to run off again in a minute. I'll see how we go. Okay, now the blending stubs are rolled up pieces of paper and you can sharpen them and remove. So this has got blue on it. Already you can use sandpaper, which I have here somewhere. I have some sandpaper here. And you can remove excess colour and sharpen them on sandpaper. There you go. Just taking off some of the I'm not really too fussed though because I'm using blue anyway, but that's how you sharpen them, just with a bit of sandpaper. <laughs> it is it is strong I'm gonna use a big one first because I'm gonna do start out here why do they confuse you they're pretty easy it's just paper uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap my blending stub so what's happening is the blending stub is basically soaking all of that oil in and I've just touched it so I haven't yeah that's my postie hang on I'm back somebody sent me a review product to review all right so there's hardly any on here it's where I'm going with this 
And uh, if you want to maybe practice on a piece of paper first to see how it looks, uh, give that a go first. But we're going to put a bit of pressure on. And we're just going to blend and smudge. If you find you're not getting any blending, like it's starting to stop smudging together, you may need to add a little bit more baby oil to it. So just re-dip it. Don't use too much. You overuse it, you'll end up with bleed through, it won't dry. So what will happen is this will actually, because there's only a light amount there, it will actually dry. I'm just going to re-dip that a bit. So you want to use enough to blend it, but not enough so that it's saturated. Not happening. <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is these darker blue and red sections first and then I'm going to swap blending stubs because I want to try and keep the lighter colours light. So I'm just going to grab a new one, I've added a little bit of stuff on it and just doing these lighter areas. We are flattening off the tooth of the paper with the blending stub. If you've ever used blending stubs for drawing and things like that, you'll know that that's all it does. It just smudges the pencil. <laughs> oh, thanks, Karen. Thanks for hanging out. I'm doing circular motions but some of these areas have like straight lines so I'm just making sure that I kind of follow the direction of the pattern too so we can see that we've got that sky kind of look there. Now in here I want more blue so this is too red so I just want to add a little bit more ultramarine over the top of it. And I'm just going to blend that a little bit more over it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's how it works. <laughs> Rochelle, I didn't even know you're here. Where's Rochelle? Uh, what? Hang on. Ah. Oh. Michelle, hello and welcome. Have a good sleep. Rest. Do I prefer baby? No, 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 no. I was just wanting to show you guys that you can use it, that it doesn't have to be messy. Um, I would prefer the zest it if I'm going to be doing something like this. Um, or I would just use marker or... Pastel. Somebody said pastel. Can we use pastel? Of course you can use pastel. <laughs> um, use whatever you want. But I just wanted to show you that you can do it. I do find it better to build up though. Like I, I do find it better to add 
colors to it so do your base layer get a fair bit of pencil on there but go back in and darken things up so I've got uh, the violet blue and I'm just going to come around the edge by the way we're going to do a giveaway before we finish so let's do that get that organized if you haven't won an image from this month's color along uh, so anything from Sarah Richer this month then you can enter uh, I will need to grab your details uh, so you'll need to email me with those within 24 hours as well so I can send that off to Sarah but it is your choice of image from her Etsy store digital coloring page from her Etsy store so if you would like to enter all you need to do is Write the code word dark for dark unicorn. I'm using the pigment that's already on my pencil as well, on my stub, sorry, to go in and add a little bit of colour into these lighter areas as well. But that's a second layer of colour. We're just going to gradually build up, going back in again with the ultramarine blue. I'm just going to keep working on it and we're probably not going to get it finished today but we got near finished I got my example across I'm happy <laughs> <laughs> I got my example across I'm happy now yeah but you don't have to use a lot to get this pretty effect and look there's nothing coming through if I was using too much I just show you on a bit of scrap paper If I was putting too much on this would be happening on the back. So I've put a little bit on the other side and it comes straight through. So that is far too much. You don't want to have anything coming through. You want it to look like this. <laughs> so have a practice. Do just a couple of scribbles on a page on a blank page first and try it. Uh, don't uh, don't be scared of it. Have a go. I'm gonna add a little bit of that violet blue over here. I think maybe I might have added a little bit too much blue just here so I'm just going to add some more yellow or sand I should say and some white and then I'm just going to blend that in just adjusting it slightly got a smaller one I'm going to go into the into the light areas blending in the red and the blue making it kind of purple shade
Now, I will say that I'm not going to use a Copic multi-liner on top of this because I don't want to wreck my multi-liner. But, oh no, Barbara, are you okay? I have sound. I do not have sound. Did you enter the giveaway? <laughs> Hi, Tara Lynn. Welcome. Yeah, don't you? <laughs> no Q-tips with dipped in oil. What doesn't work? <laughs> you can use a Q-tip and put a tiny little bit on it, but the Q-tips with a big area like this, you'd better off using a, a stub because you you will uh, your Q-tip will flatten out to the to the stub too quickly it won't work as well uh, you'll need to just replace them all the time and you'll have have a uh, throwing away stuff oh no Barbara are you okay these I think I brought like a packet of them cost me like two bucks they're cheap because it's just rolled up paper it's not expensive um, you can pretty much buy them from any any cheap shop that sells art supplies have them um, and you just need a little bit of sandpaper just to to clean them up so once these are, are finished with them I'll sand them back down and use them again on different colors and different projects um, they're fantastic with uh, charcoal drawings, um, things like that, pencil drawings. All right, if everyone, everyone entered the giveaway, I'm going to draw it in a second. Make sure you've written the word dark. And also make sure you've got the image um, because that that uh, discount is only going to last for like today and possibly tomorrow. I don't know where Sarah is from. So <clears throat> within the next 24 hours, it's going to cancel, I'm going to say, and it'll be finished. So finishing uh, at the end of October 2020. Um, I only have 17 people that have entered. Anyone else want to enter quickly before I finish it? Hi, Della. Welcome. Yeah, charcoal, Ev. That's cool. Oh, you fell in the dark. Ouchies. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchies. That sounds like another postie. <laughs> Hi Grace, welcome. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. It's nearly finished now. All right, I'm rolling it now. Here we go. Giveaways about to be drawn. If you want to enter, enter the word dark. Darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> All right, I gave extra time. I'm drawing it. Here I go. Yep, Sherry, I've got you there. And I'm doing it. Marilyn! <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, you love that moon? Alright, hang on, I got a postie. Give me a sec, you guys, and I'll finish this off a bit.
Okay, I'm back. Um, it looks like a Coloring Heaven magazine that I may have ordered. Maybe? I don't remember ordering it, but maybe I did. <laughs> it just came in the mail. I thought I only ordered the Australian one, but maybe I did order that one as well. <laughs> uh, I can grab one for you if you want one. No problem all. <laughs> Blending stubs, is that what you're after? Or stumps? Stub, I call them. S-T-U-B. I don't know if that's what they are called, but... Uh, here we go. This is like 10 US dollars for 16 blending stumps, sandpaper, pencil sharpener, extender. It's got a bit of everything, but look, I'll just post that one up there. But that's pretty much what you're looking for uh, if you are wanting them. The sandpaper things are actually, there's another one here. I'll pop this one up as well. Uh, the sandpaper things, I actually have... Uh, one of these which I actually use as well but uh, I'll pop this link up this has got the this in it as well so the second link I posted has one of these which is a sandpaper it's got sandpaper on it and you can <laughs> clean them off as well so that second link has those as well <laughs> I'm running out of uh, baby oil on this one it's becoming uh, dry so I just dipped it again Congratulations to Marilyn. You can send me a um, a email. That would be great. I think you have my email already. It's in the description. And also, if one of my mods wants to do an uh, exclamation point mark, exclamation mark, I got it right that time, um, contact and my uh, email address will pop up there too. Alright, I'm just going to turn it over and use the clean side for the yellow sections. I find that the colours with white over them tend to blend a little bit differently. And they're a little bit creamier. And uh, you can then smudge that creaminess over those other areas as well. As I was saying, I probably won't use my Copic Multiliner to go over those bats. I'll probably just use a cheaper uh, black fine liner, just in case. Having the baby oil in there might clog up my tip or my nib on my Multiliner. around the outside of the moon. And uh, I'm going to grab my white pencil and I'm actually going to draw around the outside edge. Just lightening it up a little bit. Okay, 
giving the mirror a little bit of a glow. I've uh, printed on, again, if you <laughs> uh, want the link for the paper, I have a little bit of a uh, exclamation mark mixed media. Actually, I've got it here, so it's right there. Uh, this is a paper that I've used. <clears throat> I pretty much use this for everything now. I do. Yeah, you can, <laughs> Posca pens you can cover over with lots of things. I've, I've used markers to go over Posca, it works well. Um, I'm just going to keep blending that blue. And uh, I'm just going to do the same all the way down. Uh, let's add in, let's start to add in some violet blue now. I'm going to use a smaller stub just to get in here. Smaller area. And I just had far too much baby oil on that. <laughs> but I'm just going to blend all around. I'm going to try and be careful of all those dangly white hair sections too. Now I've only got a couple more minutes but I'm hoping that you guys are happy with the idea of what we're doing here. Um, and I just wanted to show you that you can use it without having that mess. And it's the same with Vaseline. You'd only use the tiniest, do the same thing, put a little bit on a and a thing and maybe smudge it out a bit before you start and then just put a tiny tiny little dip of your uh, blender in there I've never heard of a Toitillion. Yes, you can colour over all sorts of things with Posca. Uh, over Posca. <laughs> My white Posca pen, I, I will paint. I will cover over. Say I want yellow spots, I'll put my white Posca down and I'll colour over it with a marker. <laughs> so, yeah, they're pretty cool. But yeah, it's just paint. And uh, I think that's why Posca pens don't work so well over like watercolour mediums. Um, I find that they sink into the paper too much and disappear on you. But um, that's why I'll use my gel pens instead. Or the pigment ink pens because they're not actual acrylic paint. So this side I haven't done enough layers. I'm going to need to add in some more pencil to get that to blend. So coming back in with the violet turning violet violet making sure I add enough pigment in I'm going to mix this with a little bit of the ultramarine as well ultramarine I 
I wanted to pick colors that had purple in them but weren't purple <laughs> so that our our little unicorn would stand out enough needs to stand out I just uh, while I'm just finishing off things here I just want to thank Sarah Richter for this beautiful image and this color along it's been a bit of fun and uh, it's been a busy month with Halloween and everything in Spooktober. So uh, it's been great to be able to represent her in both Spooktober and here. It's very nice. Make sure you go and post uh, your pictures on her Facebook group and page there as well so that uh, everyone can see what you've done. Um, and if you're not in the group, join the group. <laughs> so all of uh, Sarah's links are in the description below. So make sure you grab them. Oh, thanks, Abby. Thanks so much for being here. Night, everyone who's leaving already. Love yous all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Night, Kenny. Night, Momo. Night, everybody who's leaving. Over black Posca. Uh, yeah, you can. Anything. It'd be a lighter colour over black Posca. Posca, 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 Posca. Words are hard. <laughs> I don't have a black pos posca, so I can't show you. <laughs> I have one, but I have no idea where it is. Uh, I think it's over with all my miniature stuff, so I'm sorry. But yes, you can. Any posca. I do just want to mention, too, if you're doing this, you may need to come back in with uh, white pencil and just reshape some of these hair and ribbon areas I've tried to stay away from them as much as I can but um, you know <laughs> you know very hard to do that <laughs> oh thank you for the hugs <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna add some more pomegranate I'm just going to keep playing with it until I'm happy. I'm just going to keep adding colours and and uh, blending it until I'm happy with what I've got. A little bit more pomegranate. Ah, oh, thanks, Linda. Is my old friend in my head and I really want to listen to the disturbed version of it <laughs> right now I'm going to add a little bit of white in here
<laughs> so by now, all of my blending stubs have blue on them, but that's okay. I'm just going to go around some of these hair sections and just lighten them back up again. So I've gone over them with the blue a little bit. Just making sure everything still stands out off that background. <laughs> He's looking really cool. I'm going to finish it up there. Um, I'm finished though. We're just going to go and put that uh, violet blue and and I'm thinking we need to add a little bit of the um, the purple dioxazine as well just in the bottom because I didn't want to add it up here because the horse is that color but here the horse the unicorn is that color. I'm going to add that in here because I need a little bit more depth like it needs to be a little bit darker down here. So purple dioxazine here and the violet blue down the bottom. Let me just do a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. You could even add a little bit of black. Blend all that in together. As long as it's a little bit different to her, his actual fur, I guess you can get away with that. making it nice and dark down here. Just be careful coming around all your light areas and make sure you re-put in your white if you need to. It does a little bit. It does a little bit. I mean you could you could add a little bit more of the oil on and do it. Um, it wouldn't be as tough or you could do a really, really thick layer of pencil, which would be a little bit creamier. Um, so let's give that a go. Let me do some, just in this corner, we'll do a bit of a test. Do some black. And we'll do some purple. Dioxazine. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure down so we get some nice thick pigment okay and then I'm going to add some violet blue so there's a lot of pigment there um, this I'm hoping will make the blending process a little bit easier let's see adding some Baby oil to my stub. Oh, much easier. There you go. There you go. If you're worried about the pressure, just add a little bit more pencil on there. Because I'm putting hardly any pressure on that and it's blending nicely. I'm just going to blend it all the way out though so that that oil doesn't just build up in that one spot. Alright, so if you're worried about the pressure that you've got to put down to blend, then just add more pencil. Actually, I like how rich and dark that came out anyway. Yeah? Looks cool. I'm just going to use a cleaner blender with no oil on it. Just 
to uh, get rid of any oil, excess oil there. Now obviously I'm going to crop my page so you won't be able to see any of this stuff around the outside. It's worth going right to the edge though so you cover everything. So there you go. So doing more pigment, you're going to do less blending, less pressure on the blending pencils. You probably don't want it as purple as that though, so... Uh, when I go in and put my colours back in, I'm going to add a little bit more of the blue to the top of that. Violet blue. Maybe a little bit of ultramarine too. You know what? It's your picture. You can do what colours you want. <laughs> you might want to make it all black with a little bit of blue. I don't know. Anything you want. So more pigment, less pressure. <laughs> you forget to talk Ev do you <laughs> I'll stay till the end oh okay good anyone else that's gone I'm saying goodbye even though you've already gone <laughs> what do you keep doing wrong There you go, you did it. Hug to it one word after. It should work. It should work. I hug. <laughs> uh it's funny. Oh yeah, heaps of scrubbing. Heaps of scrubbing. It doesn't mind. The paper's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't mind. It's happy for you to scrub it. <laughs> so if you don't want to put pressure down on your pencils and, but you still want to get a thick layer, just keep going over it and over it and over it. <laughs> Anyone got any questions before I run away? Because I am going to run away. I need to eat. <laughs> My stomach's going, Row. I can hear it sitting, I can hear it here. And I reckon it's going to get loud enough to be able to hear in the speaker soon. In the mic. <laughs> it's having a lovely chat to me here. So again, happy birthday to Ev for tomorrow. I'm sure you'll be on tomorrow on Emily's stream. She's streaming. Um, and we'll see you at the party on the weekend. Don't forget, come and join in.
we would like to have you come and see us be silly and do silly things <laughs> um, I'll set up a link so that uh, everybody who's streaming can share that too and uh, we can spread the news around <laughs> we can hi Steve <laughs> so hang on wait I missed that Emily you what so you're doing three other things at the same time that's me in your streams usually I miss chat because I'm listening, but I'm, I'm doing stuff. <laughs> it's great. It's great. It's great. I've run out of uh, baby oil on this one. One of the other ones might still have, have enough on them, but I'm done. I'm done. I'm going. I'm going to leave you go because, you know, I've been here too long already and... My stomach's starting to talk. But um, I'm going to finish this off off stream and I'll post it up later on today. I will now go and organize a link for the weekend and I'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks so much everyone for watching. Congratulations to Marilyn for winning the giveaway. And I will see you all later on this weekend. Thanks again everybody. Make sure you post up all your finished ones too. I want to see them. <laughs>